Okay, um, I'm continuing from the last movie I did um, earlier about creating OS Judge service, and we managed to do that under the OS GI folder and add a service of um, basically a model factory code. And I like to see you, I mean, show you the end result of that because basically I stopped at um, exactly doing this model factory to handle the model classes in the IDMP project. And I've done that a while ago. And um, let's get to the model factory here. Right. And here it is. You can see that I've created such a class which was copied from the old class and, um, and we've got that and let's get into the class. And you will see that I have uh, transported all the calls of the classes that we can find the model classes here. So, um, model classes. Hmm. <clears throat> Under here, yep. Here they are. All the models classes call between your code ring and operation of your plugin has to be registered with the model factory services. And here they are, and you can see each one of them. For the um, let me close this so you can see it easier. For the uh, get class, uh, the get PO, this is an object call, and the call with the result set. Now we're gonna do another thing, which is like I mentioned here in my pad is that we're going to handle a model validator. Okay? A model validator also likewise has to be registered with the OSGI and as again simple ways to look at another plugin that we have done before. And again looking back at liberal manufacturing you see that we have a model validator here. Sorry. Here's the model validator. And so here's a sample model validator. And this is how the model validator does it. So I'm going to talk a bit about how this model validator is different from an old model validator. Uh, let me look up an old model validator. Okay. Um, I've opened up in text form here in old model validator. You look at a legacy model validator, you have an initialize method, and likewise you have an initialize method here. However, you will register everything, right? Which is done in the old way from um, in a way it wasn't done, but whatever event that is called under model change, all right, whatever event is called under model change and call under document validate, these are the two types of event calls in model validators previously from compare and identify. Um you will have the persistent object model such as this. So what you have to do is you have to register the events here and the model. That's all you have to do. So that's basically just to put it simply only two things in a new model validator which is the initialize with everything registered and then you get to the handle event and both model change and doc validate is included in one big long matter. Yes, they may be a bit long, but it somehow simplifies things. And then, of course, from within the methods, you will have call outs to more different methods. So, that's
that's how it is done. And um, I'll, I'll end it here now because uh, that's basically the explanation theory. But I'll just show you how I'm going to do a new plugin, which is similar to the one I did with the model factory. Okay, let's get onto it. So, same way, right click, new, another component, and I'm going to copy from the model validator, but okay, what well, I'm going to call this now, um, again for the convention, validator. So, I'm going to call it validator. Right. Yes, um, of course, you must look at your own model validator. I'll get to that. I have the old validator somewhere. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Yes, this is the old validator, and um, I brought it over from the legacy warehouse management system. Here it is, the old validator. What? In my warehouse management system, and I'm going to convert that, like I said, into the new one. But I'm going to stop there. But at least I uh, do this. Okay. Let me get to the same source again, and uh, let me do a copy, and come here, and likewise, do a copy, but change this to the new one, so this is the cheat sheet, All right. let's see what's this error about, ah, completely. I think it should be soft by now. Yes. Ah, he's saying. Okay, so we have to create that. So this class is not created. Right? We only have the old one, so we create a new one. Hmm. It's not going to the new class. So I have to create new class. No problem. Again, do a um, copy. Let's do a copy very quickly. Trace this class back in a whole one. Do a copy. Get back to your new plugin. Alright. But you have to do this one will be all into a new package. And I'll paste here. Okay, so basically, okay, now I have to refactor it to my new one. I'll do that just to be safe. So, and uh, let's get back to this one. Call it. Yep, it is there. Call it. Save it. So you have your new component. So give an error. Should not be. Let's try refresh. There's a glitch somehow. Let's check if there's an error. No, nope, there's no error. Right, try to solve the error. Refine this class for event. Fix it. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's do a comparison. Doesn't seem to be okay on the services. Event added. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Shouldn't be. Error shouldn't occur. It's okay. But you basically get the idea, and I'll solve this um, later what it is, and maybe tell you in the next video. So now I will go basically to the new 
um, validator, right? I'll go to the new validator and um, call it up and then start changing it. Make type validator abstract. Okay, yes, probably is the one. I'll solve it. I'll solve it. No problem. So here at least uh, now you get an idea of what I'm trying to show you. Okay then. Have a good day and happy new year. Happy new year. Bye bye. Happy new year 2014 from here to 22 a.m. Malaysia.